Welcome, dear viewers, to the enchanting realm of Lady Lore. Uncover the hidden tales of remarkable women throughout history. From scandalous secrets to fascinating triumphs, we dive deep into the untold narratives that shaped our world. Prepare to be inspired, enlightened, and entertained as we unveil the true heroines of the past. Today, we embark on a thrilling expedition into the captivating life of a woman who defied expectations, shattered boundaries, and left an indelible mark on the annals of history. Welcome to the extraordinary tale of Eleanor of Aquitaine. Our story commences in the enchanting land of Aquitaine, nestled in the heart of southwestern France. It is the 12th century, a time when knights roamed the countryside, troubadours serenaded maidens fair, and chivalry danced hand in hand with courtly love. In this vibrant tapestry of an era, a shining star was born, Eleanor of Aquitaine. Born around the year 1122, Eleanor was destined to be no ordinary noblewoman. From an early age, her spirit blazed with a fierce intellect and an insatiable thirst for knowledge. She immersed herself in the realms of literature, languages and politics, setting her apart from her peers like a dazzling gem amidst a sea of stones. But fate had a grand design in store for Eleanor. It was during her tender years that she caught the discerning eye of a man whose path would intertwine with hers, none other than Louis VII, the future King of France. In a spectacle befitting a tale of love and destiny, Eleanor and Louis were wed in a majestic ceremony, forever binding their fates together. Their union ignited a firestorm of passion that seemed to engulf the world. Together, they embarked on a monumental quest, joining the illustrious ranks of the Second Crusade in 1147. Eleanor's presence on this epic expedition proved transformative as her unwavering courage and captivating spirit inspired knights and soldiers alike. However, Behind the royal facade, cracks began to appear. Despite the birth of two cherished daughters, Eleanor and Louis found themselves trapped within the confines of a crumbling marriage. Whispers of infidelity permeated the air and the strain became too great to bear. In the year 1152, Eleanor and Louis, with heavy hearts, made the arduous decision to part ways, dissolving their marital bonds. Yet, Eleanor's tale was far from reaching its conclusion. Returning to her beloved Aquitaine, she emerged as a force to be reckoned with, an indomitable spirit prepared to etch her name upon the annals of history. Enter the stage, our next protagonist, Henry II of England. Eleanor's union with Henry was not simply one of convenience, but a love story that would echo through the ages. In 1154, she ascended to the throne of England as its queen, her remarkable lands and wealth cascading into the realm. With Eleanor as his ally, Henry set forth to transform England into a bastion of power and influence. Eleanor, far from a mere figurehead, assumed an active role in the governance of England. During Henry's absences, she skillfully wielded the scepter of regency, guiding the nation through stormy waters and uncharted territories. But Eleanor's influence did not end there. Her patronage of the arts and literature breathed new life into the cultural landscape, nurturing a vibrant renaissance of troubadours, poets, and scholars. Yet Eleanor's legacy transcends politics and artistic endeavors. She emerged as a steadfast advocate for the ideals of courtly love and chivalry, becoming a luminary of the emerging troubadour movement. Her legendary court at Poitiers blossomed into a haven of romance and enlightenment, attracting the finest minds of the age, to partake in the ethereal dance of love, honor, and refinement. But alas, even the most enchanting love stories are not immune to trials and tribulations. Over time, Eleanor's relationship with Henry grew strained, and she found herself embroiled in the stormy rebellion of her own sons against their father, a tumultuous conflict now known as the Great Revolt. Although historical accounts vary regarding Eleanor's exact role, her mere presence in the fray testified to the depth of her influence and the unwavering loyalty she commanded. Following the collapse of the rebellion, Eleanor found herself imprisoned by her own husband for more than a decade. Yet, even in the darkest of dungeons, her spirit remained unyielding, an unquenchable flame that refused to be snuffed out. Eventually, she emerged from captivity, free to roam once more, her resilience and fortitude becoming the stuff of legend. As the twilight of her life approached, 
Eleanor retired from the political stage, her impact on history reverberating through the ages. She passed away in 1204, leaving behind a legacy that transcends the bounds of time. Eleanor of Aquitaine, the queen who defied convention, the patroness of love and learning, forever etched her name into the annals of greatness. And that is all on the amazing and intriguing story of Eleanor of Aquitaine. A trailblazer, a visionary and a force to be reckoned with, Eleanor defied expectations and shattered boundaries, leaving an indelible mark on the world. Her spirit, as fiery as the sun that bathed her beloved Aquitaine, ignited a passion for knowledge, culture and female empowerment that reverberates through the ages. So let us raise our voices in admiration for this extraordinary queen whose charisma, excitement and unwavering determination continue to inspire us all. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing to our channel for more content like this. Don't forget to hit the like button and share with your friends. Happy sipping!